She's a retired, 65 years old, and she lives in a rural area of the U.S. or Canada um, with no high-speed or broadband, broadband access. Um, but she's an independent and lifelong learner. Um, she's really interest, or she, she's an avid, avid patron of her local library. Um, and she heard about the library's new services that are made possible by their, by their growing uh, OER collection. And so those couple of services um, are voice-enabled access to um, OER textbooks that she can call in um, with a touchtone phone. And um, there'd be a recording of the book that she can pause, rewind, fast forward, or play at different speeds. Um, but there's also a content on demand service that she can uh, call in and um, she can choose, you know, or express what she's interested in and the library can access uh, the OER collection and send her on DVD uh, a remixed, or, you know, content that, that meets her needs. Um, the library also offers a space uh, and facilitates communities that build their curricul curriculum around open educational resources, so if a bunch of people are interested in, um, in a certain topic, the library would have a space for that. And uh, there could be resources uh, from their OER collection that can be adapted and distributed depending on the uh, interests and abilities of uh, the group's participants. And uh, yeah, we came up with Probesi. Awesome. There's also uh, an idea about having like a section in the yellow pages, having a, an OER about OERs. Like, so you'd have some organization that would take out um, an ad in the yellow pages in the education section, and it would have, like, sort of like the restaurant guide where you have pizza and Chinese food and Japanese food, whatever. It would have different topics that you could maybe look at, and you might have different numbers you'd call about each of those to get into different oh, levels. Um, Jonah brought up an idea about a bookmobile, sort of like the library on wheels, um, where uh, if you had an interest, interest in a topic like gardening or whatever, you might be able to. Um, get a printout uh, from the bookmobile like of a connections type uh, textbook on the on the thing or again that facilitated facilitated like meetup style learning through facilitated through the library or through the local school system something like that. so if, if we have time one of the things that interests me is looking at the solutions we created for a particular learner a particular persona and see how they fit with the other persona so maybe starting with this idea. So this is very li library centric. We've got a touch tone phone and the ability to access textbooks and other text material, call in, get sent to DVD, that sort of thing. How would that work for Shakir in Ghana, do you think? Mm, I think I think the idea of being able to call a phone number to access audio content is a really great idea. Um, because that sort of gets rid of the need to like download anything, which is a big like bottleneck with bandwidth. Um, and I mean, if we're thinking about how to enable people to access content through mobile phones, like I think the idea of being able to like call call a number to like hear recordings is like has a really wide application for a lot of people who maybe don't have um, high levels of technology access. 